All right, Paris Bowles here with Double Time Entertainment and the Sprite Queen City Battle of the Bands. Here with Director of Bands, Joel Reed of North Carolina Central University. Uh, just pretty much wanted to know a few things about the program, some new things we can look for this year, and you know how the program is going along in this early stage. The program is doing very well. We just received the invitation to perform at the 2011 Tournament of Roses Parade out in Pasadena, California. Uh, the fundraiser is going very well. Uh, you can go to ncc.edu to uh, give online, uh, mail in money to support the students. One participating trip of a lifetime. Uh, this year also marked our sixth consecutive year being uh, honored by being selected to attend the uh, Honda Battle Bands down in Atlanta. Uh, this year uh, we've been practicing probably about two weeks. Uh, this is our first show of the season. Our first game is actually Thursday. We have a Thursday night game coming up. Uh, and this is also the largest band that we've had here in NCC. Uh, we've been growing every year and this would be uh, the largest and we're still looking forward to even growing even within the next couple of months. Okay. All right, next thing is, you know, with this being the first time that they've done this fight, uh, Battle of the Band, how does it feel to be selected? You know, I know you're from North Carolina, but how does it feel to be elected into the first annual Battle of the Band? It's good. Uh, we have a strong alumni base here in Charlotte. Uh, we're being we're the alumni chapter here is very big. It bears important. In fact, there's an alumni meeting for North Carolina right, State University here. Camera, so it's good that we are invited to, to, to where the, the event and also allow for a lot of alums to come out and support their favorite North Carolina band, and it's his own home state. All right, um, if you being in the uh, alumni of uh, Florida a &M, how how personable is this performance going to be with the passing of uh, Dr. William P. Foster and with family coming up? So it's, it's kind of like a correlation between, you know, two, two programs who, who have this history together. Well, I'm aware it's happening today. Uh, Dr. William P. Foster is my band director. Uh, and, uh, I got a phone call this morning about 1 o'clock. Uh, it was really hard. Uh, I was fortunate to be the head drum major uh, in his fifth year down there at Florida and m and got to spend a lot of time with him. Uh, he was very supportive of North Carolina Central. Even before I was born, he was supportive. Uh, the band director uh, before me was a Florida a grad with band director at North Carolina Central University and he told me about how he came up and support, supported the North Carolina bands and, and um, he was very supportive of me and, and uh, I was even blessed to even spend a day with him, uh, a day with him uh, recently um, and just listen to some music and talk about a lot of history. So this is going to really mean a lot for me and I think it really means a lot to everyone because none of us really in uh, black college bands and I'm not saying that as a, because I'm a Florida a and alum, I'm saying it because of the fact of a lot of innovative things that he's done as far as dancing, the movements of band. Um, it, it, we wouldn't be here now even having an event like this. It wouldn't be a Honda Ballad band, it wouldn't be the drum line uh, if it wasn't because of this person who was actually in a situation where he was uh, told that he couldn't be a conductor because he was black and decided to still make a way out of no way and to graduate from Columbia University with his doctorate to be admitted to the Dan Damage Association and doing the great things. Um, it's really an honor. I'm, I'm just glad that I got to know him well and to be called his son. I mean, it does hurt, um, but he lived a great life. 91 years, a great, great 91 years. Yeah. And it's a big hat to do. All right, once again, this is Paris Bowles here with the Old Green Director Band, North Carolina Central. Double time entertainment. All right. Dr. Manoa is the law of the life world. Was the noted Florida University Marching 100. Director of bands 1846 to 1998. His innovations revolutionized marching band techniques and the perception of collegiate band. Today we mourn the loss of the greatest men ever through this and ask you, Memorial Stadium, for a moment. For a moment of silence. Forever in our hearts, Dr. Foster, this show is dedicated to you.
the North Carolina Central oh, University marching down the street with your support to raise that bar even higher. National women now for the support of the Central Florida Technique, our great percussion tracks, and some of the most influential contests seen as of late. Got to make it six consecutive trips to the heart of the mouth of the band.
way, they were probably riding high on this wave of good fortune and hard work. That definitely paid off. But, as we said way on, Spider-Man and Freeze is full of fat. Fellas, get that flat top. Ladies, get those...